Hi guys, welcome back to my video. In this video, I want to show you my experiment with the Firebase app distribution. So recently, I'm uh, starting to doing a lot of like mobile app development uh, with my team. And then I think that it is worth to try to, uh, to, to, to learn about app distribution in firebase because i have this problem where i don't have any ios device yet now and then i'm thinking to set up ios uh like distribution for my team like uh, because we are working like remotely there is no way to just like bring my my simulator and then let my team to test so i just need to have something out of the box but uh, because i have some problem with the app developer program in Apple, so I tried the app distribution for the Android first. So let's see if it's work out, right? Okay, so I have this little uh, application here. It is a bit small, but I'll make it bigger uh, in one second. So, or oh, not this one, obviously. There should be a Android Studio preferences, and then I want to make the to make the editor a little bit bigger, right? Uh, so just find the font size here for the typing font. And I just want to change it to the uh, Deng Mono and then I want to get 14, right? To make to make you easy to read the code. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Okay, so the way I built uh, the CI CD for the app distribution is very simple. So one, I set up a GitLab CI where I need to write some, uh, you know, GitLab CI manifest. Uh, and in here, I'm using Flutter to build my app. And then I already have an APK built here using the Flutter build APK. And then after that, I, I used to use the artifact to take out the APK uh, from the GitLab CI, but I think because I want to use app distribution, I want to set up some app distribution here. So I set up a simple shell script, and in that shell shell, shell script, I create a very simple stuff where it basically uh, running a Firebase CLI command line application, and then after that, I'm running this command app distribution distribute because I know that the path will be this thing here. Uh, I set the path to here and then I'm using a token because it is in a CI environment. There is no like uh, way to put a password. So I'm using a token here and then I'm using the app ID and then I'm using the release node. Yeah, so let's let's check how I input the token, app ID and release node. Okay, so uh, I'm using this thing called uh, CICD variables. So you can go to the setting CICD and go to the variables here. Uh, so I set up a lot of variables here and then you can create yourself, right? And then after that, uh, what I did is I, I, I set up like everything here as a app distribution of sh. I have the tester txt, which is available here, uh, in the outside in the root part, in the root thing, I have an email, all right? And then after that. What I have is I run the code here. Don't forget to make it executable by doing a chmod plus x uh, and the name of the file. And then after that, I just run it, right? And see if it's working. So I go to the pipeline and I will take out one of my latest pipeline, which is here. Uh, it is in the build release. So I take it out. It will take some, some seconds. And it's still loading. But the idea is I'm running this and then I'll let the what is it, the GitLab CI running it, and then I make sure that it is working. So let's see. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, wait. Uh, because sometimes the build log is so high, so uh, it takes some time to load. And then when I run this code, nicely it said, uploading distribution, upload successfully, adding release notes. Yeah, about the release note, I'm using this cool little trick. So I get the, the, the last like commit message as the release node because I'm super, super lazy. And you can actually create some, some CI parameters if you want to, but my my step is far, very simple. And then I put the tester group using the tester here. And then, yeah, that's it, guys. And then 
if you see here, I get everything working in the app distribution tab on the Firebase. Yeah, so if so, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, you can try yourself. I will put the command here on the uh, gist somewhere on GitHub and post it on the YouTube description. And if you like my video, you can download my little application called Nescan or scanning in in English in Bahasa. It's called Nescan, and then yeah, give it a start, right? And thank you for looking at my video.